I was broke when I was growing up, so everything that broke, I couldn't afford a mechanic. So I took everything apart as a kid, put it back together. Some of it still worked. In fact, my first car was a Volkswagen that I got for graduation. Old one, dropped a valve in it on day three. So my mom bought me a set of tools and a book and I rebuilt it out in the back porch. To make it quite simply, I've always loved motorcycles, been riding them since I was a kid. I had some money in the stock market when it crashed. It took about 10 years for it to rebound to the amount that I put in it. And so I told my wife one day, you know what? I think I could build a motorcycle and beat the stock market, which was easy because it broke even. I built a bike and it was pretty basic, sold, did all right on it. And uh, so I thought, I think I could do better. So I built another one and it sold and I did pretty well on it. It turned out very nicely. And I thought, well, I've already beaten the stock market after bike number one. So it was an easy sell to my wife to kind of continue the trade. You know, the fact of the matter is my early work was, you know, it wasn't perfect. Some areas it could have been better, but you know, that's the nature of the beast. You build, you learn, and you make things better. So what's the objective with an angry monkey motorcycle? First is to get over the silly name. Second is our bikes are known for their stance. They're always low and streamlined and have a particular look to them. In fact, it's easy to recognize one of our bikes even though we vary some in every direction. But the objective too is to make sure that we don't completely modernize it. Like when I do the machine work and engine work, I like to leave the dings and scratches in the cases because that's history. I mean, this thing's been around longer than me. I don't really feel like I had the right to remove all that machine's history. So while the paint's pretty and the seat's pretty, and you know, there needs to still be that authenticity that's wrapped up in the machine. The other thing that I like to do on these bikes is to make sure that they're more reliable and better performing than they were brand new. So we put a lot of upgrades in the engine and the drivetrain. We always endeavor to improve something on every bike. So there aren't any interchangeable parts on any of the things that I make. So everything we make is one off and it's all slightly improved over the last one or the last set. So what is Angry Monkey Motorcycles? Well, it's just an exercise really to see how good you can make a Triumph motorcycle from the 50s or early 60s. 